Welcome. I'm Rick Wicklin from SAS. I'm going to be talking today about calling SAS procedures from SAS IML software. IML software is SAS's interactive matrix language. It's been around for about 25 years. It's a language that enables you to use matrices and vectors to perform all sorts of statistical computations. You can compute statistics that are not available in any SAS procedure. The language is also extensible in the sense that it enables you to write user-defined functions. You can store these functions, share them with your friends. And, as I'm going to discuss today, you can call SAS procedures from within SAS IML software. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, briefly, SAS procedures are efficient, powerful, and tested. So, if you want to compute a statistic which you know comes from a SAS procedure, why should you reinvent the wheel by writing an algorithm to compute that in IML? Why not just use the statistic that comes directly from the SAS procedure? For example, if you're in PROC IML and you need a density estimate, you could compute it yourself or you could call PROC univariate. Calling SAS from PROC IML is very simple. You use the submit and the end submit statements. Everything that you put between those two statements is sent to SAS for processing. That means you can call data steps, SAS procedures, macros, global statements, anything you'd like. After the program reaches the end submit statement, you're back in IML. Any variables or matrices that were defined prior to reaching the submit statement are still in scope when you reach the end submit statement. At the bottom of this slide is a very simple example. A submit and an end submit statement with a call to PROC univariate in between. Here's a slightly more complicated example. Suppose that you're in PROC IML and you have some data that you're analyzing. Now you can use IML statements to compute various statistics of those data points. But suppose you decide that you want to test the data for normality. Well, one way to do that is to call the univariate procedure. The univariate procedure, and in fact all SAS procedures, require that the data be in a SAS data set. Therefore, the first step is to write the data from the IML matrix into a SAS data set. You use the create and the append statements in IML to write the SAS data set. The second step is to use the submit and the end submit statements to say that you are now going to send some statements to SAS. Inside that so-called submit block, you can specify the PROC univariate statement and put the normal test option in order to compute tests for normality. You can also generate ODS statistical graphics from the procedure if you'd like. The histogram statement and the kernel option to the histogram statement will produce a histogram with an overlaid kernel density estimate. The output looks something like this. You'll have your PROC IML output, and then following, you will have the output from PROC univariate. For example, you will have a table which describes various tests for normality. You will also have a histogram with a curve which represents the kernel density estimate to the data. That the XY points on that curve we will revisit in a few slides. You can do more with the submit statement. For example, suppose you want to pass a parameter to a SAS procedure where the value of that procedure is inside of an IML matrix. In this case, I have a variable called AVG for average, which has the value 5. If I want to pass that value, to PROC univariate, 
I can list the name of that IML matrix on the submit statement. Then, inside the submit block, I can refer to the contents of that matrix by preceding the name of the matrix with an ampersand. The result is that the contents of that matrix, in this case 5, will be substituted in to the PROC univariate call. That PROC univariate statement is then sent to SAS and SAS will see the value 5. Notice that the use of the ampersand is reminiscent of macro syntax. Although in fact, in this case, there's no macro variable being created. It's pure text substitution. When that PROC univariate statement runs, the output, which is shown in the table on this slide, shows that univariate conducted tests for location with the value 5. You can also read the results from a procedure back into IML. For example, remember that histogram with the kernel density estimate overlaid? You can get the x and y points on that kernel density estimate curve by using the out kernel equals option on the histogram statement in PROC univariate. So this submit block will produce an output data set which contains the x and y locations of that curve. The data set looks like this. The fourth column, which is the variable underscore value underscore, contains the x locations along that curve. And the sixth column, the variable underscore density underscore, contains the y locations. You can read in those x and y locations by using the use and the read statements in IML. That will create two IML vectors that contain the x and the y locations along that curve. You can then, for example, use the trapezoid rule to verify for yourself that the area under the density curve is exactly 1. In general, then, you can analyze data that are contained in an IML matrix by doing the following. You write your data to a SAS data set by using the create and append statements. You use the submit statement to call a SAS procedure that analyzes the data. You read the results of the analysis back into IML by using the use and read statements. And you can use the results in further computations. For further information about submitting SAS statements from IML, see Chapter 10 of the SAS IML User's Guide. To learn more about statistical programming in SAS and about SAS IML, see my blog, blogs.sas.com slash content slash IML.